Hi everybody, this is DirecTV Now. This is a new internet TV service that gives you live TV just like competitors PlayStation View and Sling TV. The difference, DirecTV Now is run by the satellite company, but you don't need a satellite to use it. Just an internet connection and of course one of the supported devices. Right now DirecTV Now works with Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, iPhone, iPad, Chromecast, and Cast enabled devices. So there's plenty of device support out there right now. DirecTV Now is 35 bucks a month to start and that includes a hundred channel package. The catch, that's a limited time offer. So if you sign up, you can get that hundred channel package for 35 bucks, but it might expire in the future. DirecTV has not told us exactly when that would happen. As long as you keep the packaging, however, you will get that $35 price again with a hundred channels. Now the number of channels out there is pretty extensive. It's a lot like PlayStation View and a lot like your cable subscription. The one exception right now is CBS. You cannot get CBS or Showtime on this service. So you're gonna have to get your CBS shows via another service if you wanna get this system. The other disadvantage compared to competitor PlayStation View is that there's no DVR service, so you can't pause live TV, you can't make recordings, you can't do any of other stuff, but otherwise it's a very similar to your current cable TV package. You can use a grid guide to choose from different channels, you can also favorite different channels on that grid. You can also search for shows within the app, but the search is not yet integrated into Siri or the Amazon Fire TV voice search. DirecTV Now also offers two simultaneous streams, so you can watch two different shows at the same time on the same account. Once you get past the $35 a month introductory offer, there's four different tiers starting at $35 a month all the way up to $70 a month for 120 channels. DirecTV says it has regional sports networks and a lot of other broadcasts and other supported channels, but again, no CBS or Showtime.